care and feeding of werewolves. Episode 8 The Problem with Karen. Jeeves! Tell me why I'm playing chauffeur when you drove yourself. Because... reasons! How much have you had to drink? A little wine. I just forgot how that many people focused on one goal can pack a punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Them's fighting words. I'm just worried about you. After all, and it'd be pretty easy to crawl into a bottle. Eh, I can't risk losing control. I'd be more likely to sleep cast and with the nightmares. So, an exorcism? Dude, 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 best exorcism ever! Well, I mean, the reason for it was pretty shitty. Entitled white women are bitches. Banning any books that teach about big scary things like history or the fact that not everyone is straight. But when they're dead, they're a nightmare. Imagine being black or a person of color and trying to explain to the cops that a ghost was swatting you by calling 911 from your own phone in the middle of the night. That's why you dress like a My Chemical Romance fangirl. That pentagram's the size of a frickin' hubcap. Yeah, I figured might as well make it easy for the poltergeist to focus her anger on me. The necklace was my great-great-uncle Herbert's. He ran with the Aleister Crowley crowd until he disappeared. <laughs> Surprised Rady and Nana's jewelry box didn't bring her busting through the wall like the Kool-Aid guy. Nah. Rearranging her filing system would have done that if anything would. <laughs> you know, Friday nights used to be crazy busy because I was always working. But now, they're dead! Literally! <laughs> uh, uh-huh. <laughs> The caffeinated and vaccinated pin's a nice touch. What you got there? Julia, meet Karen. Karen, meet Julia. What? (laughs) Her name's literally Karen. I couldn't get her to move on, so she's on uh, (laughs) a a timeout. A box of wine wouldn't work. So I grabbed the cheapest bottle I could find. (laughs) It's like somebody liquefied an entire book club full of wine moms, poured it into a (laughs) bottle, and slapped a vagina-looking fruit on the label. God, just looking at that thing gives me a friggin' headache. (laughs) (laughs) Nana wouldn't have had to bottle her up She had a way She could always get them to come around Always so patient Bottling things up Except for potions Wasn't her way Gods I miss her I dreamt last night that she ended up like Owen, but with Perthro carved into her skin, too. And then I had to put her spirit to rest. I don't know how I'm going to do this without her. I, I already feel like I'm letting everyone down. Oh, no, no, you're not. I just can't do things like she does, you know? I'm gonna use Karen as a paperweight. 
<laughs> At least she'll finally be doing some good. <laughs> hey, have you eaten? Oh my god, I am so full, I feel like I'm going to explode. You know what works even better than incense on a Karen Geist? Spicy food! Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. White chicks are supposed to like essential oils and shit, right? It'd be like catnip for her. Then, she'd start an MLM scheme for the undead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you couldn't ever get away from them! <laughs> If I busted out some sage and lavender, she'd probably have started going off about her spirit animal or some sh shit. Ugh, <laughs> oh, you white, sweetheart. Just admit you got a persona. <laughs> Melternity. Some people call us a fragrance company. Some call us a great reason to throw a party. Some even call us a fantastic business opportunity. But what are we, really? Smelternity. We are your link to the living. Here at Smelternity, we know how important smell is to incorporeal beings like yourself. Smell is how you welcome an amazing family into your home. A cloud of one of our many organic essential oils or perfumes. Soothing scents perfect for trailing down dark staircases or infusing into cold spots. Just to let them know you're there and watching them. We even carry a line of stenches. Sourced from the depths of the finest hell realms. For those annoying corporeal beings who are just too negative for your vibe. You'll love our products so much that you'll want to become your own manager and owner of your own Smelternity franchise. With our party kits, you can invite your restless besties over to have a great time watching the effects of our products on your own undeceased residents. Join our community now and get your first party kit at 50% off. Invite your friends to join you in... Smell. Take charge of your afterlife with Smelternity. You know, you could have gone to the great Trader Joe's in the sky. But no, you chose to try and cut a poor little kid's hair off. How does someone fry their hair with dye and straighteners then turn around and attack a boy for having braids? Now I'm the manager of your bitch ass. Yeah, yeah, tyranny, tyranny, blah, blah, blah. Should have thought about that before calling the cops on that family when you damn well know you could have gotten them killed. You can kiss my lily white ass for all I care about your rights right about now. What'd they do? Paint over the live, laugh, love stencil? Well, yeah, and replaced the bougie lawn with a vegetable garden. What kind of hippie would do that? I know, right? Watch, she won't have a problem with us doing the same thing at the garden because it'll be quaint and English or something. Her beef was because the new homeowners weren't white. Uh, fucking Karen's. Is that... Is that spray paint I'm smelling? <laughs> Probably. There was a street artist who did a workshop so we could do a mural on the back fence. Oh, I nice. gave them... I gave them some symbols to work into the design. Here, check it out. Isn't nice. it cool? <laughs> and sometimes I have to check into carbon monoxide or radon or other gases when it comes to hauntings. Can't say I've ever had to use them when it comes to evicting a ghost. Because it can cause hallucinations and stuff, right? Yeah, and feeling like there's a weight on your chest because it's affecting your respiratory system. 
toxic mold too, which can also spike anxiety. Hey, maybe that's my problem with those freaky dreams I've been having. It's really Stachybotrys chartarum. Chartarum? Uh, chartarum? I don't think so. Damn. And here I was looking forward to pulmonary hemorrhaging rather than being butchered alive. Call me when you want. Call me when you need. Wait. Call me in the morning. You don't even like Little Nas X. That's, there's not enough guitars and screaming. <laughs> One of the drag queens performed to it, and she was killing it. I swear, if Karen here still had blood pressure, her head would have exploded. Totally worth the biodegradable glitter I'll be finding in places it shouldn't be. Well, that explains all the pride flags hanging out front. There was a drag show and you didn't invite me. You were at a fight. How'd it go anyway? No black eyes, no blood, no broken bones I can see. Must mean you did good. Yeah, I left the black eyes, blood, and broken bones on the other guy. Yeah, don't bring home homework for me, please. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, Karen. You might want to mind your manners. Some things around here bite back. You're not the only incorporeal being around here. Oh, if you thought that barbecue was enough to give an entire homeowners association nightmares, you'll love it around here. Oh, man. She's gonna hate it when she figures out that none of us are straight. Straight? Hell, we ain't even human. Okay, Karen. Rule number one. If you tell any of our patients, or us, to try yoga or essential oils, I'll slip a surgical mask over your bottle and put videos of disability and vaccine advocates on repeat until you either learn your lesson and or shut up. <laughs> hey, Otto. Meet our newest piece of sentient decor. Don't break it, or next time I'll stash her in your nest and you can deal with her. You know... We could bedazzle, live, laugh, lurk on that thing to make her feel more at home. <laughs> Please don't. Slap a blonde wig <laughs> on it. My nightmares have been bad enough as it is. If ghost Karens start appearing in them, I'm bedazzling cupcake on your forehead. <laughs> All your MMA buddies will know your former fight name. Oh, you wouldn't. I'm a white chick. I can out tacky you any day of the week if I have to. <laughs> you. <laughs> well, where's Otto? Better question. Where's Karen? You don't think the bottle'd fit in the tube? Oh no! Damn, Damn it, it Otto. Otto! Thank you for listening. Today's episode was written by Brenna Anderson Dowd, with a sensitivity read by Sarah Clark. Performed by Brenna Anderson Dowd as Hazel and Frederick Elmore as Julia. Sound design by Frederick Elmore. Music production by Kevin Elmore. Find us on Facebook or Tumblr at Care and Feeding of Werewolves. We're on Instagram and Twitter as Care Werewolves, or email us at feedingwerewolves at gmail.com. Please rate and review. Special thanks to our followers. You know who you are and why. Care and Feeding of Werewolves is a podcast distributed by Kerfuffle and Chaos Productions and licensed under a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution share alike 4.0 international. All content on the Care and Feeding of Werewolves podcast is fictional and for entertainment purposes only. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your doctor or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of an episode. 
Reliance on any information provided by care and feeding of werewolves, kerfuffle in chaos productions, or anyone involved with the production of this podcast is solely at your own risk. Really, though, can we all agree that MLMs are a special kind of hell? <laughs>